since my car won't start, um, I wanted to make a quick video about um, the Gurdjieff group, um, which is a, they, I guess they, um, they, according to them, they are a cult, and I guess I wanted to just talk about my experience there. I actually kind of miss being involved with them. Um, but, yeah. So about three years ago, actually I guess it was more like five years ago, I was, it was really fun, but I had a close person in my life who was part of the group and this, and it was very mysterious and intriguing um, and they talked about how you have to go to the group to like really learn about what what they do and stuff and I've always been very spiritually inclined and interested in Buddhism um, Buddhism mostly I guess or also just like sort of mixed pagan spirituality and like Mother Earth I don't know so I went to this group and it was mostly like older older people there was two two people I knew and it was a lot about um, this guy Grajeev who was Armenian and sort of like wrote this whole dissertation on practicing being connected to yourself and actually physically knowing that you're in your body which is something that a lot of people don't focus on during the day you get distracted by various things your moods change um, and Especially for me, it was always something I struggled with, so it was very serious though, very serious, um, very intellectual. So there are all these like, um, so his teachings is basically, um, basically, um, about tuning in, being humble, and focusing on being present in your life, being present in your body, being present in the present moment. So yeah, I, th I guess I thought it was really interesting, but I also left the group because it was too serious, and also they talked a lot about how there's like a lot of glamour in spirituality that is uh, untrue, like inauthentic, like it's inauthentic to be um, sort of like amazed by nature, or, or not amazed, but it's inauthentic to be, um, to be happy and free and like want to dance around and, um, sort of rejoice like so I just didn't like the seriousness of it but I def oh and also um, we would sort of practice all together being present in the moment so that was really interesting um, so it's sort of like you do your work on your own when you leave the group you have like daily practices you can do they would have sort of like these really rigid um, forms of meditation that I found really difficult at the time, but now they actually are kind of useful, I'm just remembering, but 
I mean, actually, the things that are useful to me are sort of like when I can look at myself and be like, oh my god, I remember who I am, because for a long time I couldn't remember how to do that, so it's really, it was, re it was actually very seminal, um, and... Yeah, so like an example of like one of the practices would be like, you know, you wake up in the morning, and this is like a really hardcore one that nobody liked, but of course, I, you know, I remember stuff sometimes that is probably not important, but waking up and then like having a cold, really cold shower and then going on a walk like by yourself, <laughs> and for me that's like always been really hard to do because I don't. I don't want to do it. I just won't do it. So, yeah, there are those kind of practices. And then we would, you know, and you could all, we could all come together and there'd be like, sort of like a hierarchy of people, like the people that were like the teachers and then like the master people who like lived, uh, I think in, or they were, you know, that they're from like, the early 19th century because I think it's actually the group is from either the early 19th century or like the 18th century which I actually historically can't remember a lot of that stuff but yeah and then right um so yeah just some food for thought um, just wanted to talk about that. Okay, bye-bye.